So this key wasn't going well. I honestly couldn't figure out why. I wasn't really paying attention, but first boss was awful. Miss Tyrannical, always gonna be a problem, but it was like well over three phases. Like it was almost four full phases there. And I kind of just didn't really put two and two together until somebody in the chat commented on it. And then it really opened up a whole new can of worms. And we're gonna be making a video discussing that right now. It is more of an issue that the healer is doing zero DPS. Yeah, that's definitely not helping. It's just so weird, like I don't know what else there is to do other than DPS right now. Everybody's at full health, you know? Oh well, besides those two guys who got one shot, but yeah, just, just ignore that and move on. Yep, zero DPS. Not doing DPS, but blood heals itself, so what's he doing? Zero, just AFK. Did he do no damage on the burn phase of first boss? That's a good question. I'll have to go back and look at that. I have to make a clip of this. <laughs> wait, wait, I just saw it. he did 1.2k overall. Yep. I mean, like I said, that's better than I expected to be honest. Wait, 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 no, that's not even right. That's good. I DC'd too, don't forget. Oh yeah, that's, I DC'd too, don't forget. He did even, he did way less than that. I DC'd, so that didn't count the whole overall. I, he did 440 DPS overall. And, and so I don't want this to be about this guy because, yeah, we missed the key by like a minute and a half. But honestly, there was a, quite a few mistakes. So it's hard to say that it's this guy's fault. And I don't really care because whatever, you know, this was not a good group in the first place. But it's a very noticeable moment in the key. And I think it's a really important thing to try to wrap into the whole like new player guide type stuff I've been making. Trying to help people learn because this is a very teachable moment. And this is a big part of why I've been talking about Resto Druid being such a bad pick with Blood DK. So quickly, let me explain the situation here. Like as a Blood DK, I almost need no input. He's got one spell that I actually care about and that's Iron Bark. As long as he's giving me that every once in a while we have done everything we needed to do together yeah obviously you're gonna have to heal the group at times but there's a lot more to your role than just being an actual heal bot which is you know probably unfortunate for a lot of people a lot of people don't want to do this whole hybrid multifaceted role as the healer they don't want to be a support they want to be a healer but you're doing a time dungeon so when there's zero healing needed what are you going to do you have to do something else right because if you're not you're just a wasted slot you can't bring a certain role entirely based on some maybe like 75% of the time they'll be useful. They have to find a way to be useful for 100% of the key. Otherwise, why would you even do it with a healer? You can just bring a fifth player as a DPS or even a second tank, and that would just be the better way to play. So this is why the meta has shifted, quote unquote, into this healer DPS kind of support role where they have to bring some kind of utility. They have to bring something they could do outside of healing. And as a bloody K, there's no other option. That's all you're going to do. If I'm the only one taking damage, I'm good. You don't need to heal me. You're just wasting my own healing. You're doing almost nothing. There's very little time when actual healing is needed. You're just going to pick up my mistakes. If I do something wrong, you can save me. Otherwise, you're just going to be healing the group. So you got to bring something. That's why Resto Shaman and Holy Pally are tier one and number two overall, because they're just bringing so much besides actual healing to the group, and they're just making everything go better. Druid brings almost none of that. Big, big thing they bring is battle res, but I overlap with that. So that's almost useless. Things like Ursoles and knockback and stuff like that, they barely ever use. They don't really have good utility outside of any of those things either. So I just don't really see any reason to play them right now. They kind of just are mana hogs and don't really do a lot of DPS even when they try to anymore anyway. So that's kind of been an issue the whole season, but that's again, not even what I want to talk about. What I want to try to convey here, and, and, and I can't express this in any other clear terms. This guy did less than 1000 DPS. And then you look at the healing chart on the actual healing situation too. And he did like a quarter of the actual healing to me. And I didn't need any of it. You know what I mean? So he barely impacted this key whatsoever. We could have literally had four players and it probably would have been the same result. I'm sure there was some point in the dungeon where we did actually need healing, but he's missing such a big opportunity here to help the group. So if you're playing a healer and you're not looking to help the group by getting DPS globals in, you really need to reconsider why you're playing a healer. Like I get it. If you're used to a raid only approach over the last you know decade or something like that, then you might be a little bit surprised to see how much the requirement is from healers to do DPS. But I made a video like this in Legion and people were really upset upset to hear it five years later i just can't really care about this anymore you guys cannot be denying this if you're doing this you are simply getting carried especially if you're playing with the blood dk so don't get carried man go contribute in some way 
And I want to show you something to really solidify this. I want to make this very, very clear. And again, I don't want to bash on this guy because whatever, you know, this happens every once in a while. This is not some malicious thing that this guy's doing like half the people I make clips about, but it's something that you need to learn from. And I don't think it's ever been clear. I've never seen a clearer example of why these problems can proliferate into danger for the group and for the timer in general than what I'm about to show you right now. And remember what I said at the start of this video about the first boss. I, I think this still says it all. This is what the end of the boss look like on the screen. You will see four minutes, 53 seconds. And this fella did 1.6 K DPS, which is really hard to believe that number actually 1.6 K DPS. I think that's actually just some kind of error in calculation because he did 242,000 damage, dude. I don't want it to be about him, but when the fight is four minutes and 50 seconds, you start to really hinder your ability to upgrade these keys. So, so come along for this ride for me. I just want you to watch what the burn phase of this fight looks like. We are going to be using bloodlust. Hopefully people are going to be using potions somewhere on this fight. This is a great place for it. Watch what this burn phase looks like. All right, let's see what happens. Probably not much. Not bad. 50%, no, more like 65, <laughs> but still not bad. Now, hopefully you paid attention to the DPS chart here, but what you probably didn't notice is something even more important. You see this guy here, this is him. He's a little bit blocked by the UI elements I have here, but you see those green swirls around his character. Those are healing over time spells he's using or just heals in general, nature spells that he's doing. He's not doing any damage by doing those. And currently every single player in the group is at full health, 100% health. There's no health deficit whatsoever. We're in the middle of a burn phase that might easily determine the actual difficulty of this fight. And in the background, you will see no actual spells cast onto the boss from the character. You will see no direct damage coming from this character at any point. And now you will see him move and do even more of these green spells which are almost presumably doing zero DPS, considering during a burn phase where the boss takes so much extra damage, he could not even crest to 1000 DPS. Now I've seen healers, especially holy powers, but also shamans and even priests too. They would actually out damage me at this point. I would be doing really good damage because I always like to pop my CDs on the pole here, especially now in season three, killing the Ur or whatever you're getting is just as important as getting the Droman down. So I figured use your CDs now. This is a huge tip, guys. Don't sit on your CDs on this fight anymore because they can be back up. You're definitely going to have at least two phases, right? I mean, if you're doing this on Tyrannical, obviously. So get your CDs used on the pull. Get all of that stuff down as fast as possible. They'll be back up for another burn phase later in the fight, and it can be a huge play. And here, this guy is not only not committing damage, he's actually just healing people who are already at full health in a 30 second window where there is zero actual damage. Like literally, I'm not even exaggerating. You cannot take damage there, right? There is no possible way, unless like a shadow priest is in this group, it's not possible for anybody to take damage there. What is he doing? He's just actually AFK, right? And, and again, I don't want it to be about him. I'm trying to make it clear that this healer, individual, regardless of who it is, he has completely taken himself out of this encounter. We now have four players, right? And if he did anything meaningful in that, it would have taken this. We, we did 65. We got him 40 from 45% health. That's all we did in, in a DPS window. He's now at 60 some percent health. If he did anything, like even anything, any amount of considerable damage here, he would have been into the fifties and we would have easily cut an entire phase off this boss. Instead of a four minute and 55 second encounter, it could have easily been under a four minute encounter. And maybe you're not immediately thinking what that means, but guess what? It means less healing, man, less danger. Your job is to make the group survive danger. That's what you're there for. You're there to help me, the tank, get the group through difficult times. And instead of actually making those times easier, you're just AFK. You're literally AFK. You're spending mana and globals on something that is completely useless. There is no value to doing anything other than DPS there. And it has such a high value quotient that you will actually dramatically reduce the amount of danger in this fight by just doing, even if you do like 5k there, that's all you need. The boss is taking what double damage. I mean, you could easily do that, right? You could go and auto attack that. I, I, I don't see how that would be difficult. So I, I can't express this. I hope that this is clear to you guys. There is some 
amazing opportunities for damage. And it actually makes your job as a healer easier, dude. You shouldn't be sitting here thinking like, oh, I can't do damage because I got to heal. There is times when you don't need to heal at all. And even if you did need to heal a little bit, the rest of the group can still keep themselves alive. You do not need to heal a guy who's at 90% health when there is no actual damage coming anytime soon. Instead, what you should be doing is making the dungeon go faster. It'll make the dungeon less difficult. It'll make everybody need less healing over the course of the dungeon. You'll effectively have reduced the damage taken by the group by shortening the combat windows, shortening the bosses, and especially on Tyrannical. It can be so unbelievably huge unbelievably huge you can be cutting a minute off this boss a boss like this and a boss like the next boss too because there's these windows where you can't effectively do damage to this boss literally just sitting there hotting people up who are at full health they're they're making the fight so much longer and wasting everybody's time i hope this is made clear and and i know there's still going to be people out there who sit here and think like dude i just want to play a healer i want to make the bars go up and unfortunately the game has evolved past that. I hate to tell you that. It's an uncomfortable feeling, I'm sure. Uh, you could blame Blizzard for this all you want. But if you're serious about doing Mythic Plus Dungeons, they are at the core competitive content. They are timed based. You have to be efficient in what you're doing in there. You have to care about every global you take in there, at least to some degree. If you are taking globals that have zero efficacy, that is very rude to the group. And it's even more rude if somebody invited you thinking that you were going to be able to bring something to the group. Right now, we have a big problem with this. I'm seeing it a lot from Resto Druid, but I've seen it a lot with other specs, especially in the past as well. If you want to continue to play a healer in five mans, you need to be more dynamic and you need to be open to this. You need to not resist this because it's very important, especially when you're playing along some tanks. This was even more prevalent in BFA alongside Prot Warrior. They could literally reduce like 99% of the damage they would ever take. You did not need to heal them whatsoever and you saw Resto Druids doing insane things in BFA. Now we're in Shadowlands, things are completely different. Some tanks do need constant babysitting, kind of like Prot Warrior, but Bloody K I need nothing. I don't need a thing. Everybody's full. What's the obvious choice? Help in some other way. I hope this helps. Please tell your friends. If anybody has any questions about any of this, I'm happy to talk through it. I don't want it to be like a hostile thing. I don't want you to feel like you're getting pushed out, but this is not acceptable, guys. This guy does less than 1,000 DPS in a dungeon that we could have easily upgraded. We missed it by like a minute and a half. That's it. And yes, we had a lot of deaths along the way. I don't think any of them were saved by him. I don't think a single death he could have actually healed through. Everybody who died died to something stupid, got one shot. So at the end of the day, it's really hard not to say that if this guy just did, you know, three or four K like most healers can do overall, we would have actually timed this key. It adds up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.